I'm gonna show you kind of a roadmap on how to really get started on learning about this and what you should have set up if you're wanting to do short sales. Today, I wanna to break down a simple way on how to get started in short sales. I've broken down you know, the really complicated things on stopping foreclosures and how to overcome objections, but how do you get started? Once you're done watching this video, I can give you a roadmap if this is something that you're wanting to do and something that you're wanting to specialize in. Before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can get notified of our weekly videos that we're doing twice a week on the channel. So you have been watching my channel for a while, or maybe this is the first video that you're watching what is a short sale? A short sale is where a homeowner owes more than the house is worth and they are in some type of financial distress, which means that they have some type of financial hardship. They lost their job. They got a divorce, which means that now they have two sets of expenses for the same income that they qualified for. Or everybody's favorite thing to say, the pandemic, which I won't say that word, but you know that happened, life happened, or just maybe it was a, a series of things that put them in that situation where they can no longer make the payments. So in order to qualify for a short sale, you have to have a financial hardship, which means that you can't afford the mortgage. And then the other part of it is you have to owe more than the house is worth. If you include the mortgage balance that they owe to that lender, then you include closing costs and you include everything that has to be paid with the house. If they have to come to closing with money, it's a short sale because they don't have the funds. So in those situations, that's where you would come in. You would help negotiate on behalf of that homeowner and the bank would pay you to represent them. Or if you're an investor and you're wanting to get into this niche to buy short sales, like I'm going to show you kind of a roadmap on how to really get started on learning about this and what you should have set up if you're wanting to do short sales. So number one, throw everything you think you know about short sales, the certifications like the SFR, the CDPE, like everything that that is online and is available is generally bullshit. So hear me out. I know I get emails and texts from you guys all the time. Like I'm SFR certified and I'm so excited. Awesome. What does that mean? That means that you took a course online, just like our real estate license courses, and you just got a bunch of definitions, like what a short sale is and all of that, but you have no clue how to do them. And your certification just means that you took those classes. It doesn't mean that you're actually qualified to do anything. So if you're still watching and I didn't hurt your feelings, I, I'm saying this because in order to really succeed in helping a homeowner stop foreclosure and really handle this client's, you know, worst time of their life, you need to know what you're doing. And having a license doesn't qualify you to do anything. I personally do not do commercial transactions. I know I've done a couple commercial leases, but I am in no way qualified to handle a sale of a commercial property. I have a license to do so. I can, doesn't mean I should. And a lot of agents get into this niche thinking, oh, I've got a sale and oh, I've got this listing and I'm excited, but they have no clue what they're doing and that client gets foreclosed on because of their ignorance. So I'm making this video to, to give you a blueprint of like, this is where you need to start. So if this is what you're wanting to do, that you can accurately help this person and do your fiduciary responsibility of making sure that you're taking care of them. So the first thing you need is leads. Who cares how much you know if you don't have anybody to talk to to actually help? These leads specifically are pre-foreclosure leads or auction leads. Now, I have several videos on the channel that go over what the difference is, judicial versus non-judicial, and I'm not going to elaborate in this video, but those are the lead types that you need. And the reason why is because if they are in pre-foreclosure and about to lose their house, they need help. And most likely, it's going to be a short sale. It's somebody that needs your help to get the foreclosure stopped before they lose the house. Now, there's a couple ways to get these leads. You can get the leads directly from your, your county courthouse for absolutely free, but you have to scrub. You have to scrub the lists for the data, and then you have to skip trace it to get the phone number. I'm all about easy so you can apply and, and actually take action and not get bombarded with details, especially if you're starting out. I feel personally, because I use it, I feel like Red X is the easiest way to start. I also use batch leads, but those are for stacking lists. So for investors, if you're looking to purchase these short sales, you know, you can stack the list with vacant properties and higher equity or lower equity or whatever. But if you're just starting out, you don't need to do any of that. You just need to call people who need your help. Why not stick with a system that already skip traces it for you and, it, and it's super affordable? In the description, I have a link where you get like the free fees or whatever that they do for people that join under me. But I personally use them, which is why I talk about it because I have all different kinds of systems and I want something that is easy to use. So you get the leads and now it's time to call them. You need to know 
the objections that you're facing. Your objections are loan modifications where they want to stay in the house. That is going to be your biggest one. Know and understand what loan mods are. Know and understand the process and understand why most of the time it's not in the homeowner's best interest. Then deed in lieu. What is the deed in lieu? Why is it beneficial? Understand bankruptcy. A lot of times bankruptcy attorneys go after and target people in foreclosure just so they can collect their fee and put them in bankruptcy. But a lot of times it's just because of the house and it's not necessary. It doesn't actually fix anything. If you can understand those objections, those calls will be so much easier. Find the leads, understand those objections. Then when you get a deal, how do you stop a foreclosure? You need to learn all the different ways to actually stop foreclosures because most of these people that you contact, it's within two weeks of a sale date. And if they have already you know, been behind You have to get creative. You have to escalate the file. You have to know who to contact. Then learn how to negotiate. How do you approach a lender? If you want to do a short sale, you need to know who to contact and what process to start. You have to have a complete short sale packet. You have to make sure that everything is submitted at the same time. These are steps that you have to take if you're wanting to do short sales. Here are some resources if this is what you're wanting to do. We have a masterclass that's a one-hour masterclass where we go over a case study From start to finish, it's like 30 bucks. It's literally less than Grubhub if you want to get delivered. And we do it intentionally because we want to be able to talk to as many people as possible as we're building up our network and really get everyone, you know, in one call to help answer all of your questions. Because we get so many on YouTube, we get so many in the office. This is a great class. I have people that take our class every month because it's a great refresher because every time we elaborate based on your questions, that's the power of mentorship. It's not just us giving you information like I am right now, which, which is awesome. You know, you're getting a lot of information, but in order for you to retain that information, like you get to ask questions and there's specific questions to your deals or specific questions to what you want to know beyond the material that we're teaching. So we do the case study, we do a live Q&A, then we do the four week short sale bootcamp where we break down the actual leads and then we show you step by step. We show you how to stop foreclosures. We have a whole hour and a half class on just stopping foreclosures. Then we talk about negotiations. Hey guys, here's what we say exactly to the HOA. This is how we get an IRS lien discharge. This is how we talk to a second lien holder and we get them to settle for pennies on the dollar. Like these are our exact verbiage, our templates, all of that. So if you're wanting to really just jump in, start with the masterclass, then do the four-week bootcamp. And then we have our in-person mastermind to set up your business and to, to talk about the biggest problems in your business and be able to collaborate with people all over the country. If you don't want to do any of that and you're like, okay, Nicole, I'm not even sure I really like you and I don't want to talk to you. No problem. I got you. The How to Master Short Sales book is literally the short sale book. And I put my money behind it because I have not been able to find anything, anything in our industry that actually tells you real shit. And I'm not talking about some dictionary of like the definitions. I'm talking about like, hey guys, this is what you need to include in the short sale packet. This is the difference between a Chase VA loan and a Chase FHA. By the way, completely different processes, even though the servicer is Chase. Who does that? Who shares that? Absolutely no one. And we created it. Me and Stephanie wrote the book because there was nobody to help us. There was nobody that would share that information. And we spent 13 years in the industry. That's how long it's taken me to build my business and fail so that I can learn those lessons. And we put that all in the book. In 2020, when shit hit the fan, we spent the entire year in the pandemic writing this book. And the inspiration was like short sales for dummies. Like I literally went to Barnes and Nobles and picked up one of those like real estate for dummies to see their format because I wanted it to be easy and digestible. And I wanted to share our knowledge. Like I wanted to share all of this information because people need our help. And I'm not going to be able to do every single short sale in the industry. It's not realistic. And unlike a lot of people in this industry, I truly feel like there's enough business for all of us. So I don't need to hoard this information just because I have it. How to Master Short Sales book. It's on our website. You can go directly there, thessqueen.com. And you can also see all the programs that I'm telling you about. Guys, utilize what we've put out there. I wish that I had something, I had someone that was willing to help me in in this industry and in this niche that I could just talk to if, if I needed it, or I could just take a class and ask questions and know that their answer is based on their experience and what we actually do every single day. So hopefully 
this was helpful. Start with those things. If you don't want to take any of our classes and you're like, I'm just watching this video to learn, no problem. Start with those things. Find where you get the leads, whether it's through Red X or, or other platforms, the pre-foreclosure and the auction. Make sure you understand the objections while you're making the calls because you'll, you'll find out really fast when you get hung up on because you don't know how to answer that question. And then make sure you're learning how to stop the foreclosures so you have time to help them. As always, you can join our free Facebook group, the only short sale group worth being a part of. And I'll see you guys next time.